fact, um, Vincent Simmons uh, was initially charged with aggravated rape, which carried the death penalty, 1977. What happened was, 1977, the uh, Supreme Court had said for a short time that uh, uh, the death penalty was unconstitutional, cruel and unusable punishment. So they changed the aggravated rape charge, which carried the death penalty, to attempted uh, aggravated rape. And uh, according to Eddie Knoll, uh, we changed it because, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to uh, uh, have to sequester the jury. Because if, we, if, it, if it would have been a death penalty case, then uh, uh, we would have had to sequester the jury. I mean, think about it. The jury, the, the, the trial lasted a day and a half, and he's worried about sequestering the jury. I mean, we're not talking like uh, 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 O.J. Simpson trial, you know, where it's lasting months and months. I mean, a day and a half of sequestering the trial. I mean, what the truth of the matter was, was that, you know, they couldn't charge him with aggravated rape because it would carry the death penalty. Here's the ironic thing. You know, those that were convicted of, you know, crimes that carry the death penalty, you know, because it, it got, uh, uh, because the death penalty, you know, um, was deemed unconstitutional at the time, they actually, their sentences actually got converted to uh, less time. So if Vincent Simmons had been convicted of aggravated rape, he'd probably be out of prison right now, you know, but he's still, he got 100 years. Here's the other interesting thing. Uh, Vincent Simmons was never arraigned on attempted aggravated rape. There's absolutely uh, no paperwork that um, that says that he was ever arraigned on attempted aggravated rape. So basically, he was convicted on something that he was never charged with. Um, and, uh, you know, this also plays into Eddie Knowles, you know, uh, uh, playing uh, games with uh, words, saying that, you know, as far as the uh, Sharon Sanders' is hymen being intact, uh, hymen being intact, um, that, uh, well, he was convicted of attempted rape. It wasn't an aggravated rape, it was attempted rape. So, you know, this fits into the uh, her hymen being intact. So, um, but he was never arraigned on that, that charge. Um, so, I mean, but uh, I, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put the, uh, the documents on uh, this case on, on our website. Uh, we'll put the, uh, the, the website up. And uh, for, for everyone that wants to read the, uh, the trial transcripts and the, the but the, the whole, everything, it was a, the, the whole trial. The whole investigation uh, was a farce. Um, so, you know, and, uh, you know, Vincent Simmons' case actually got appealed to the uh, Louisiana Supreme Court. And, uh, excuse me, and the uh, Supreme Court said, eh, there's no new evidence. Uh, there's nothing new, you know, he denied, blah, blah, blah. Well, what do you think sitting on the Supreme Court? Well, one of the former prosecutors, Jeanette Knoll, who, you know, quote, unquote, recused herself from the, uh, the decision. But, I mean, I, there was, I mean, so much absolute uh, suppression of, you know, all the documents that, I mean, it's obvious that she had, uh, you know, her, her basic, her, her opinion, um, you know, made its way into the decision. And so you have a man, uh, Vincent Simmons, um, went into prison in 1977, a uh, young man, uh, accused of a crime that he didn't commit and uh, 
you know, doesn't look like, you know, unless, you know, the uh, public rise up and say, you know, let this guy out. This, this, this trial was a farce. Um, unless that happens, um, you know, he's probably, you know, probably going to die in prison. So, uh, you know, our organization, uh, KZ Video and Photography, um, has been trying to help him. Um, we've uh, filed some criminal complaints against uh, the former deputy, Robert Laborde. We've um, uh, applied for Freedom of Information Act for the, uh, the twins, uh, Karen and Jenner, Sharon Sanders, school records, um, you know, to see if they were suspended from school, Brame Junior High School in Alexandria, um, for drugs, or, you know, did they accuse some teacher of rape, etc. Um, we are, you know, we, we produce this, this documentary, which, um, it's kind of a it's kind of a rough cut. Uh, we've uh, you know, we we don't have a lot of money. Uh, we put it together uh, with you know basically uh, zero uh, funding. Um, so we're we're asking the uh, the public to you know look at the documents. They're on our website. Um, write letters to congressmen, uh, you know, write letters to, or emails, to the uh, Department of Justice to help um, Vincent Simmons to uh, be released from prison because he doesn't belong there. Um, in fact, the uh, former district attorneys, uh, Jeanette and Eddie Knoll, they belong in prison. Not Vincent Simmons. The uh, uh, two girls and Keith Laborde that lied on the witness stand, uh, they should be convicted of perjury. Um, the uh, two witnesses from the, uh, that uh, the prosecution called that were in jail at the time, um, they should be convicted of perjury. So we're hoping that the public would uh, rally around Mr. Simmons. Um, initially, when Shadows of Doubt and the Farm was, uh, you know, first came out, um, there was a huge uproar, um, you know, about the injustice that was perpetrated on Mr. Simmons, and uh, you know when Eddie Knoll, you know, first came out and said, "Ah, well, you know." He had trouble and, uh, you know, he had trouble raping her and that's why her hymen was intact and, you know, the, uh, they, they initially didn't say, uh, they didn't admit that they knew his name because they were scared, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and he was actually charged with aggravated rape. It was attempted aggravated rape, so it doesn't matter. That doesn't wash. Um, I mean, the problem with the timeline, the problem with the, uh, the Vincent Simmons, you know, supposedly going into the 7-Eleven and, you know, they not simply calling the 7-Eleven clerk to, uh, instead of spending, you know, several hours impeaching his alibi witnesses, you know, they didn't have to do that because they suppressed the initial statements. Um, the, um, the, I mean, the suppression of the, uh, the medical examiner report, the suppression of the documents, the uh, disconnect between Robert Laborde's um, two police reports, the obvious collusion between the Harold Burlett and the Knowles, um, the fact that he's you know, Vincent Simmons got a hundred years for a trial that was basically a farce, you know, all of these things. We hope that the uh, the public uh, and the Department of Justice and the Louisiana Department of Justice will take into account
to, you know, right this injustice that has occurred on Mr. Simmons. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to help him. Um, the uh, there are several other people that uh, are still trying to help him. That you know have been trying to help him for a very long time, and will continue to help him to try to help him. Um, but you know, we need the public's help. Um, so we'll put the uh, information on screen, and um, you know, meanwhile, KZ Video and Photography, um, the producer of this this documentary, you know, we, we admit we this is kind of a rough cut, um, but you know, we're gonna hopefully, you know, by people seeing this uh, documentary, this video, um, we'll. You know, donate some money or you know help with the uh, help with the cause so we can you know do some more for Vince Simmons or make a better documentary or etc.